Hey everybody, I just want to do a quick review on that movie, uh, uh, Unplanned. My wife and I, we got tickets, we went to go see it. Everybody said, you know, you got to go see this movie, you got to support it. Because, uh, uh, you know, it's about a lady that left uh, Planned Parenthood. She was uh, in charge of Planned Parenthood and she uh, she left Planned Parenthood. And, you know, it's, it's a good thing, we need to support it and whatnot. So I went and, got, I went and seen it, you know. And I'll tell you what, uh, you know, it's a good movie. Uh, uh, there's some parts that, that were that were um, tear jerkers and whatnot, but uh, just like the last few Christian movies that I've seen, there was absolutely no gospel whatsoever in it. And uh, I found out later that the lady, it, it, she's not uh, a Christian; she's she converted to Catholicism. So that might have something to do with it. But here's the other thing: Why is Pure Flix uh, putting out a movie like this, and is there supposed to be a, a, a Christian um, film c- company, and and they're making uh, they're they're making a Catholic movie just just because of the, of the abortion issue? Their friend, you know, I'm pro life. You know, I hate abortion. You know that I go up to the clinic and I go up there for one reason only, and that's to preach the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ, the death, burial, and resurrection for the forgiveness of your sins. Repent and believe the gospel, is is the message I preach. Uh, you know, I know most of these women are going to kill their children, and uh, and I hate it, and uh, they're going to regret it. And uh, but I give them, I give them the joy. I give them, tell them that about Jesus Christ and the cross, and and uh, the Bible says, "Thou shalt not kill." But friend, when when you make a movie like that, here's the thing. So so there was a scene in the movie. She after she leaves the the clinic, and everything, and, and she finally. Co- co- comes under conviction. She goes up to her, her husband and says, how can God ever forgive me? And, and her husband says, well, God will forgive you. All you got to do is ask him. Well, you know what? That sounds really nice and sweet and great. But my friend, that's not the gospel at all. Who is God? The, 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 the forgiveness requires a sacrifice. The Lord Jesus Christ laid down his life. The cross of the Lord Jesus Christ was, Jesus shed his blood for sinners. Not just so you just ask God for forgiveness. You need to ask Jesus Christ for forgiveness. You need to receive the Lord Jesus Christ as your Savior and Lord and and come to grips of the reality of you're a sinner. You're on the way to hell and Jesus Christ paid the price for you. And if you receive that by as a free gift by faith, you will be saved. That's what the Bible says today. Um, it's, it's, it has nothing to do. Hindus got millions of gods. Uh, as a Buddhist have everybody has a different god. What? Who, who is God? You know, and uh, that makes makes a lot of sense that she she um, converted to Roman Catholicism. So be careful with these Christian movies. You know, you know, and everybody hypes them up and makes them sound like they're great. Be very careful. And that's just my two cents on on plan. I'm doing this off the cuff, um, getting ready to leave work. Hey, you guys, have a great day. Get yourself a Bible for further instructions.